Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to install and play Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six on a modern Windows operating system. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So in order to install the game, you need to first insert the CD-ROM of the game. So after you insert the CD-ROM of the game, you need to open the setup.exe file or the autorun.exe file. So I will launch the autorun.exe file and click on the install Rainbow Six button. So as you see here, the setup process has started without any issue. In case the setup program doesn't start, then you need to go to the task manager, go to the details tab and look for an install shield process. It may look like this, which says underscore IN55176 dot underscore MP. So if the setup process doesn't start, then you need to go here, right click on it and go to analyze weight chain. So if the setup process doesn't start, then there should be a process that is selectable here and you need to click on this checkbox and click on the end process button. So at that point the setup process should start. After starting the setup process you need to click on the next button, accept the license terms and set a destination folder. For this installation I will install the game on my D drive. This is because C drive imposes many administrator privileges and they may impact the game to be run on this system so I will install it on my D drive. I will click on next and select the full installation option. So the game installation has started. So the game has installed and now we will click on the finish button. So the first thing you need to do is download DXWND from this website which I have already done. So after the download has completed you need to extract the .rar file which will give you a new folder. So in this folder you will get all the DXWND files. So you need to execute the dxwnd.exe as an administrator. So you can see that the dxwnd application has opened. So here go to the file tab and click on the import option. So here what you need to do is you need to download two files for which I will be providing the link. So the two files are rainbow6hw.dxw and rainbow6hw.dxw. These are for the hardware rendering and the software rendering of the game. So first of all, I will show how to run the game with software rendering options. So we'll uh, uh, select the uh, software rendering DXW, and D DXW configuration and click on the open button. So here the entry has been added and we need to click on the modify button. So from here you need to select the executable file of the game where you have installed it. So for me it is in the D drive inside the program files folder inside the Restom Entertainment folder and followed by Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six folder. So here I will select the Rainbow Six.exe file and for the launch option you need to select the same file again. So we will click on the OK button. And by the way you need to go to the options tab and click on the expert mode because there are some functions that won't be available in the normal mode. So from here you need to go to the sound tab. Here you will see that virtual CD audio is unticked. So in order to get the correct emulation of the CD audio, you need to tick this option. Along with that, you need to extract the CD audio files from your CD. In order to do that, you can use an application like Windows Media Player. So as we open Windows Media Player, you need to go to the CD-ROM of the game and which is represented by unknown album here. So here go to the RIP settings go to more options and select the web format which is the which is a loseless format so we'll click on the apply button and then we'll track we'll rip all the tracks of the cd so you need to click on this rip cd button and then it will rip all the tracks so after that you need to go to your uh, user user profile folder and go to the music tab uh, sorry music folder here you will get an unknown artist folder followed by the unknown album folder. So here you will see that all the track files are starting with 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, etc. etc. So in order for DXWND to see these files, the first file should start with the name track 02, followed by track 03, track 04, etc. etc. So let me rename the first track to track 02, second track to track 03, third track to track 04 and we'll continue it till track 16 which is the 15th track. So after I have done this we'll come back. So as you see here I have renamed all the track files. 
so now now what you have to do is copy all these files and go to your game uh, game directory so inside the game directory you need to create a folder known as music so after you have pasted the files it is possible for you to run the game in software acceleration to do that you need to go to this dxw and application and double click on this entry which says rainbow 6 sw so we have double clicked on it and the game is starting the year so i have lowered the sound so that i can speak without any issues so as you go to this options tab you can see that force software is enabled in case you see any issues like mouse trails then you need to go to this options tab and check if force software is enabled if it is not enabled then you need to enable this option so now let's start playing the game let's start a campaign operation steel win So you can see that the game is running fine on this software rendering option. So you can see that there are no issues in the in textures, position. no issues in the grass and whatsoever. And the performance is and the performance is very acceptable acceptable till now. So we'll play for a while and then we'll move to the hardware acceleration version version of the game. Alpha, go. Under fire. Got him. So you can see that the game is working fine. Man down, man down. So I have died, so let's now. move to the hardware acceleration version of the game. So you can see that the audio is still functioning properly. Now in order to run the hardware accelerated version of the game, you need to use the rainbow 6 hw.dxw configuration file. To add this entry, go to the file menu, click on this import button and select the rainbow 6 hw.dxw file. So you can see that the entry has been added in the DXW application and now you need to right click on it and click on the modify button. Here go to the sound tab, go to the CD audio emulation section and check the virtual CD audio option. If you don't select this option, if you don't check this option then there will be issues after playing one CD track of the game. The audio will pause after one track has been played. So you need to check this option and you need to make sure that the audio files are placed in the music folder inside this uh, inside the game directory. So now you need to go to the DirectX tab and select automatic from DirectX version hook. Now you can click on this OK button. So after you have done that, you need to install either Wine D3D and DigiVoodoo 2. It has been observed that Wine D3D is more compatible than DigiVoodoo 2, at least in the AMD uh, AMD drivers. So if you are using an AMD um, AMD GPU, then DigiVoodoo 2 may impose some problems. So for that purpose, you need to use Wine D3D in AMD GPUs. However, DigiVoodoo 2 may still work in the modern drivers of AMD GPUs so I am not sure if this will work however this is guaranteed to work because I have personally tried it on an AMD machine however I am using an NVIDIA machine so both of these should work for me however I will show you how to run the game with Wine D3D in this video so in order to install Wine D3D you need to download the emulator and then open the zip file So after you have opened the zip file, you need to extract the ddraw.dll and wind3d.dll to your game directory. So I have extracted the, extracted the files now, the game should be available to be played in hardware accelerated mode. So now let's click on this entry and so now let's double click on this entry. So you can see that the game is running. Now let's go to the option tab and you can see that the force software option has been unticked. You need to untick this option or otherwise the game will not work in the hardware accelerated version of the game. However if you want to use the software accelerated version of the game you need to check this option and then go to the rainbow 6 
SW entry in the DSW application. So since we are running the hardware accelerated version of the game, we don't need this option. So let's continue the previous campaign that we started. Operation Steel. So you can see that the game is working properly, the graphics are also rendered properly and the performance is also fine. So in case if the game was working fine for you without using Wine D3D, then there might still have been some issues that you might not, might not have noticed. Let me figure this out for you. For example, while I was running the game without using Wine D3D, but with using DXWND, then there were issues like there were holes in the ground, there were holes in this path, and then there were also holes in this uh, window. Along with that, the trees in the background well, were not rendered completely, and there were many transparency in these trees. And also, the uh, this part of the grill was also transparent, and there was only one single line which was not uh, uh, properly rendered. So these fixes have been fixed by using one d 3 d along with DXWND. Alternatively, you could also use DGVoodoo 2 with DXWND. So I have showed you how to run the game with one d 3 d drivers because it works in both uh, NVIDIA as well as uh, AMD Alpha, drivers. Go. Under fire. Contact. Back down. Threat neutralized. Down, down. However, if you ask me if the game runs on Intel HD graphics or not, I am not quite sure because I haven't tested it there. If your GPU supports Vulkan, then one D3D should also work fire. fine. In case your GPU doesn't uh, support Vulkan, you need to try with DigiVoodoo 2 because DigiVoodoo 2 supports Direct3D 11 and Direct3D 12. However, if you don't have any of these options, then you might be out of luck. So you need to make sure that your GPU supports Vulkan or at least DirectCity 11 or 12. However, it is not guaranteed that DigiVoodoo 2 will work with every DirectCity 11 or DirectCity 12 supported GPU because it didn't work with AMD GPUs. So you need to first test out if it works on your GPU or not and then you can run the game properly without any graphical issues. Till now I have seen that NVIDIA GPUs are more compatible with older uh, games as well as this emulation program so uh, it is more guaranteed to work Thanks properly on an AMD uh, on an NVIDIA machine than an AMD machine. So you can see that we have successfully passed the mission and now we can go to the main menu to end this video. Operation Cold Thunder. <laughs> So we have successfully learned how to run the game Rainbow Six on your modern Windows operating system. So if there were any doubts you have encountered in this video, feel free to comment in the comment section. If you like the video, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos. If there is any issue or any doubt that you need help with, you can comment in the comment section and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.